guys i want to show you another how to clear or to correct another error another error that this machine will display but i told you these errors are really frustrating if you do not know how to correct them and you might end up spending a lot of money to be very with you, I have spent so much money just to, you know, to learn this, to get this over the years and um, I'm just giving to you, you know, on a part of good. Okay, so you see, how to clear this error, this error is called Replace Toner. Let me show you the right spelling. Replace Toner. You know, you know, I have replaced this seed on my mouth, okay? Replace Toner. Now, if you look at look at this my screen it is not showing replaced on away because i had already done mine okay so should in case your own shows replace toner don't worry don't bother yourself don't trouble yourself you can clear it you know sometimes you know after the toner you know has gone low or maybe it's used up and you you refill the toner again the machine Sometimes refuses to erase that error that it shows. You know, it refuses to erase. You no, know, like I said, most times this replace toner comes up when your toner is finished. Okay, or maybe it's too low, and and, and and you are required to, and you are required to, you are required to um refill the toner. Okay, that's when it shows this replace toner. Okay, so in such a case, don't worry yourself, we're gonna fix it here and now. Okay, if it shows replace toner, all you have to do is that is you have to feel I'm gonna show you how to feel the toner. But not now. After now, I'll show you how to feel the toner. So after filling the toner and putting back the drum unit into its place, and you still see the drum, the replace toner. All you have to do is just to use the code we used earlier. Now let me tell you one secret. That code I just showed you like three movies, three videos ago, you can use to correct virtually every error. I mean, I mean it, I mean virtually every error that comes up on this uh, machine. That error is, that, sorry, pardon me, that, um, that key, uh, that code I showed you, those steps I showed you, they are, they are, they are, they are very, very strong programming code that you can use to correct Virtually every error that appears on this your screen. Okay, so I said how to correct the error with this toner. So I have to do just you switch off the machine, switch off the machine. After switching off the machine, you will um, place one hand on the menu button and then the other hand you switch on the machine. Okay. You switch on the machine with the other hand. Remember, I'm still holding down my menu button. Yes, I'm still holding down my menu button. Okay, I'm still holding it down. You get that down. Okay, okay, then I release it now. Okay, after it shows maintenance, you can freeze it. Okay, so the next thing to do is just to run through the, the course I told you, the programming course I told you about in three videos ago. So I said you just press the key into the key 88. 88. 88. You can know. Then after that, you press the up arrow key and it shows RV. Then you press the OK key three times. The OK key three times. This is the key I'm talking about. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is the OK key. So you press it three times. One, two, three. Okay? So the machine is programming. Let us wait for it. Okay, it's still processing. Okay. Are you seeing that? Okay, um, okay, done now. Remember it shows it actually showed please wait. So you wait till the please wait is as it's gone so you can put repeat any other code. So after that, you just insert the number seven four. Okay, then it shows zero 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 on the screen. So just input the code I told you zero three zero one. 
Are you seeing it here? 0301. So then you click start. You click the start button and the machine is processing that code. You can see that once you click the start button, the error automatically is solved. So after that, just switch off the machine. Switch it off. Okay. And then you switch it on again. By the time you on the game, you discover that the error is gone. So I believe you actually enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and I really, really believe that you enjoyed it and you, you learned something. And I told you these things I'm showing you, they really cost a lot to know. But you are very lucky that you actually have this video. Alright, thank you and thank you. Please continue watching the many part of the video. Good day guys. Good day. Good day. So let's say good afternoon, good morning, good evening from any part of the country where you're watching it from. Um I'm gonna be showing you this time how to clear another frustrating error. And this other error is um if, for example, can you see my screen now? You see the lights on the copy button. You know, there are sometimes you, you know, if you will do some mistake and you press some keys, or maybe somebody mistakenly did a little um, wrong programming, and the next thing you discover is that these two keys, the fax button and the scan button, are no more responding. If you press it, they won't respond. If you press it, they won't respond. And most times it is being caused by if somebody inserted the wrong programming into your machine. But it's very easy. So to get the fax and the scanner and the scan button functioning once again, all you have to do is just to repeat the same step you did in the previous one. You off your machine. You switch off your machine. Are you sending now? So you go to the power button. So you off the machine. Then what do you do next? You after open the machine, you place one hand on the menu on the menu button, and then the other hand you switch on the machine. So when you come to our screen here, if you check our screen here, it says please quit. So once it shows maintenance, you just leave release the the menu, release the menu, the menu button. All right, sorry for that. Okay, so this is it. If it shows maintenance, you just repeat the same step with the other time. Like I told you, I said if these two keys are not functioning, okay, and the only copy key that is functioning, I'm showing you now how to reverse the action and so that you can make all the keys be functioning now. So here we are now. Remember, we switch on our machine while holding down the menu button and then we release it down. So what do you do now? The next thing to do is just you know you press 88 and then it shows RB. When it shows RB, what do you do next? You press the up arrow key, it shows RV, and you press the OK button three times. One, two, three. You see? That's the OK button three times, and you allow the machine to process those code which you have inserted. You allow the machine to process those code which you have inserted. And it shows parameter you need to still let it process it, it's not done yet. You know, it's saying please wait. So you have to wait for the machine to finish um, processing those um, codes which you've inputted. Okay, then it's done now. See the place where it's over. So now you just click um, type in 74. You know, it shows 000, that's 40. So you just come here and click, type in. 0301 are you seeing it so once you type in 0301 you just click the start button and the two other keys the fax and the scan button you begin to function so then after you're done with this you just click you off the machine you off the machine after switching off the machine you on the machine again by the time you on it again, you realize that the other two keys are now functioning. They're now functioning. 
I will now go function in yes. It will definitely start something. So you can see that the steps are easy. So I advise you to just file a chart out with a piece of paper or you write down the steps I have just given to you now. Write down the steps very well. So you see the, the front button is working, the scan button is working, the copy button is working. Unlike before now when the fax wasn't functioning and the scan wasn't functioning, it was only the copy button that was functioning. So I believe that was helpful and I believe you enjoyed that. Okay, so thank you. Thank you, thank you very, very much.